Humor is just shorthand for hope, Jillian Horton wrote in the LA Times on Sunday. A gamble will live long enough to hear the punchline, whether in the face of hardship or the pathologic indifference to suffering that sows the seeds for war in the first place. And in a war of ideology, humor correlates to the most important thing of all, resistance. This is the daily update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. And just as a note, uh, the language in this update is PG-13, so if you've got little ones nearby and depending on your parenting style, this might be one to watch another time. Jillian Horton, in that uh, piece for the LA Times, was writing about Alan Alda. The title of the piece uh, that I'll link to in the comments is, As a doctor on MASH, Hawkeye showed me how to get through this war on coronavirus. And I really resonated with this piece. She goes on to write, in part, My legions of doctor friends are engaged in full-on combat. When we zoom, some are crying. One in New Jersey lost her mother, then her best friend. Another in California has left practice. An intensivist in Baltimore says she is hanging by a thread. Sentiments shared by nurses, orderlies, everyone. There are field hospitals, gear shortages, and a shocking amount of incompetence from Central Command. Like the fools on the telephone line in Seoul that Colonel Potter used to shake his fist at, utterly disconnected from life on the ground. My blueprint for survival is the one that Hawkeye taught me so many years ago. Be brave, be kind, be funny, because humor shines a powerful light on hypocrisy and absurdity while reminding us that we are tough and still alive. Be principled, be ready to break down and get put back together again. Build a chain link fence around love and faith in the things you still believe in and then resist, resist, resist. Don't stop until good will Goodbye, farewell, and amen. There is no other way to make it. Humor is a shorthand for hope. Even at its darkest, most nihilistic moments, humor is an attempt to prove that life is complex, that despair is never complete. And I, I cannot tell you how many times I've sat with families planning a memorial service when somebody tells a funny story about the person we're remembering and soon the whole room is wiping tears from our faces, tears of laughter as we remember the joy and the absurdity that are part of every life. Or there's the story of a colleague of mine who, upon waking up in the hospital after a major medical event, looked up at the gathered, worried doctors and families and exclaimed, Great! Another goddamn growth opportunity. Humor is just a shorthand for hope. That is at least who I aspire to be. The old saw that humor equals tragedy plus time is true, I suppose, but really humor can also be an appropriate and healing response to traumatic events. It's not the only way but it is my way through a lot of this. Tomorrow we'll pick up on where you're finding hope at this time. If you haven't yet, send in comments or questions in the comment section of this video or by emailing minister at unitarianlincoln.org. I'll see you tomorrow.